Is this the unicorn frappuccino from Starbucks? Yes, it is. If you're asking yourself, did she put a bunch of glitter and rainbow paint all over her face? Pretty much. Hey guys, it's Gigi and we're about to unbox the Nomo travel bag. I'm currently in between travels, which means I'm at my home base in Los Angeles and I've been doing a lot of research on future travels and also shopping a little bit for different travel gadgets, doing some research on what's on the market and the whole deal with the Nomo Electronista purse is that it's a super compartmentalized organizational purse thingy thing. Bear with me on the backstory here. Okay, I've been looking for a travel purse for quite some time now. Guys, if you don't use purses, this might not be the review for you. This is for the ladies. There's quite a few travel purses out there that cover the whole security travel purse sector. So there's like slash proof, RFID proof bags, but that really wasn't all I was looking for. So I love, 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 love compartments. I really wanted a purse that had a good organization and for some reason, that's super hard to come by, which kind of blows my mind because how hard is it to do that? And I can't be the only lady here that sees a need for that. So I think for traveling specifically, it's really, really useful to have that, especially while vlogging. I don't have time to be sitting there digging through my purse. And I also don't want a purse that's ginormous because I have to take it on the plane as carry on as my personal item. So I've been kind of looking around casually for it. Haven't really found anything. And I'm ashamed to say that this product that I'm reviewing is something that I came across because Facebook advertised it to me. It's called Nomo the brand. It's spelled K-N-O-M-O, -O, but it is not pronounced Knomo like originally thought. It is Nomo because obviously the K is silent. So I was browsing the Nomo website a few months ago and I was like, this bag looks awesome. It's got everything I need. It's perfect, blah, blah, Scroll down, get to the price. And I was like, oh, hell no. It was $300, and I don't know about you guys, but that's a no for me. I do not buy purses that expensive. The most I like to spend on a purse is maybe $40, because I like to spend my money on actually traveling and experiences. I don't really care so much about stuff. If something is worth it and it's a little more expensive, but I know I'm gonna have it for a long time, sure, fine. But a travel purse, I feel like I'm gonna get sick of pretty quickly. But even if I don't, $300 is insane to me. I can get like an electronic item for that amount of money. I can go get Bose headphones for that amount of money. So I'm definitely not gonna consider spending so much on a damn purse. I figured there has to be another company out there. Got distracted, went off and booked some travels, didn't really think about it. And then that ad turned up in my Facebook again two days ago. I'm like, all right, let me, let me check it out again. I know this is a long backstory. We'll get to the unboxing in a second. And I was browsing and I'm like, man, this purse is just so awesome. Like, I really want it. So I noticed that they had a sale tab and I'm like, hmm, let's see how much these go for sale. Click on it and the bag was indeed in there. It had a velvet version, which is interesting, for $115. Usually when I'm about to buy something, I just quickly Google so-and-so company coupon, so Nomo coupon. Retail Me Not came up with a 25% off coupon. With the sale price and the coupon and shipping, which is included, the bag came out to 92 US dollars. They come in different materials. There's a leather one, a fabric one, and velvet. Without further ado, let's unbox this puppy. I ordered this two days ago. Didn't even realize that it had shipped yet, and then today I got home and it was sitting in front of the door, so I was uh, pretty excited about that. I think that sale's still going on. I'll put the promo code that I got at the bottom. There she is. And the other thing that I really appreciate about these Nomo bags is that they look really nice. Sometimes the travel bags can look a little bit like I'm a 65 year old rich white woman on safari type of deal. So this is fashionable and I don't have to feel that way yet. That is definitely velvet. Okay, so you can see Texture, I got a like a gray color. The only ones they had were gray and blue on the sale price, and I figured gray is a nice neutral. That'll go with everything. Feels nice. I'm a little worried about how dirty it'll get and if it's easy to clean. So the deal with this bag is that it looks like a normal clutch right now. It opens from here. However, it has zippers on either side. 
that open up completely. So if I unzip this here, and I unzip it here, and I open it, and I open it again. Whoop, oh, well, they got all the stuffs in here. Take that out. This is what it looks like open. So this closes up, and this closes the top. And this is open. And I would have never bought this if there weren't straps with it. So the straps are inside right here. I was actually not really planning on doing a review for this, but I figured it would be really useful to people since I had such a hard time finding information on something this simple. Honestly, like, if there was a Kickstarter out there for a women's travel bag, I would be down for it because I think there needs to be some more competitors out there for this type of thing. So if anyone knows of any other bags that are comparable to this, please, please let me know. Where do the straps attach? Okay, in the back there's another pouch and there's little attachments right in here. So we're gonna go ahead and attach the strap to this. This is a gold. I didn't see that they had this in any other color. I would have preferred silver, but beggars can't be choosers, I guess. And it's just a little clip here, so to just clip it on there like that and then put it back on. There we go. And so now, Voila, we have a purse. They advertise this as a clutch or a purse. I don't think I will ever have a need to take the straps off. I'm not that fancy that I go to places where I need a clutch with me, unless we're talking about a car clutch. That's different. I don't need to be going to parties where I need this. So this is what it looks like here. So it really just looks like a normal purse like that. Let's look at the different compartments. Oh, okay. I didn't realize this when I bought it, but it does actually have extra card compartments in here. You could store your credit card and phone up here, let's say. That would work. And then in the back, this could hold like something pretty big, like a little iPad mini or something. But I know that that fits inside the bag too, so I would imagine that you want to put things up here that you need easy access to. Another neat feature, I don't know how useful this is, but I'm glad they thought of it because I love little extra things. Each bag has a unique code at the top. Should your bag get lost, it has instructions in here saying if found visit so-and-so URL and people would type in your purse number to return it. I'd be curious to see how often that gets utilized. All right, so opening the bag back up, One of the coolest things that I haven't even talked about is that it actually comes with a portable charger that sits in here. So this came with it. The Electronista features a built-in 5,000 milliamp battery. The Slim Nomo Power Pack can be recharged, not recharged, can be recharged, a smartphone up to two and a half times or provide a single charge for a tablet. So I'll be testing that out and I will report back to you guys to see if that works. But these are super cheap to buy nowadays on Amazon. It's just neat that it fits in here so perfectly. Oh yeah, it's a really snug fit, which is a good thing. So there, it actually comes out the bottom so you can plug this in while it's sitting in there like this. So you can put your phone next to it. Boop. And be charging it at the same time. It looks like it doesn't actually come with a cable. Oh, here. Okay, so here's the cable. Um, it's in this part for the portable charger. Another really neat feature about this is the coin purse right here. So you can put little foreign currency or whatever, local currency, I don't know, whatever you wanna put in there. And then if you just wanna take this, it unclips, little clippies. I will use that all the time, I know I will. So I think that's pretty nifty to have. This is a pen holder right here, so let's go ahead and fill this thing up. Oh, I don't forget my drink. Appropriate to today, I have a pink glitter pen that's strawberry scented. I'm going to put it here. It fits. I have my passport that goes in here. Will it fit? Ooh, it's snug. Come on, passport. I have the passport with the extra pages, so it's a little thicker than a normal one. This is great, it fits. 
And you know what? I'm noticing there's a second pocket, which is awesome for people like me that have dual citizenship and have to travel with two passports. So let's see if a European size passport will fit in there. Ooh, it will not. Check that out. It's just a little bit too big, like maybe like three millimeters too big. Ah, <sighs> that's a bummer. That would have been awesome. Will it fit in here? Nope. That's weird because this is a company that's from London. Passports are still a similar size as far as I know. I'm not entirely sure why this wouldn't fit a European passport. Maybe I'm not trying hard enough. No. My camera decided to just suddenly shut off, so. So this is what it looks like, fully loaded. All we do is close it, like so. And then you zip it. Zip it. And, what? So this is what it looks like, folded up with all that stuff inside. I'm actually super impressed. Everything that I hoped this bag would be, it seems like that's what it is. I am definitely taking this with me to my next trip. So I will report back to you on how I like it. I have really high expectations. I think it's gonna do really well. Now, one thing I wanted to test that was not clear anywhere online is whether I can open this up like this and still access anything that's inside. There's plenty of room to open it and just reach inside for your passport is right here. So you could get that out pretty quickly. Glasses super quickly. The only thing would probably be the coin purse, but you can unclip that. So I think I could unclip it while it's in here. Yep. I don't think you could put it in as easily, but if I was in a rush, I could just go throw it in there and then close it back up. I really wish it wasn't priced so high for retail, but it seems like they do a lot of coupons. So if you're interested in getting this bag, try to find one of those. I'm not affiliated with this company at all. I purchased this with my own money. Yeah, this is cool. For the boys, if you are still watching, which I doubt you are, but hi boys. Um, they do make men's stuff from this company and all their stuff has a lot of compartments. Totally recommend as of now and I will report back to you guys on it. In the meantime, if there's any other thing you can think of for me to review, like unicorn frappuccinos, which are eh, and I probably wouldn't get them besides for the Instagram opportunity, let me know because I would love to review some more stuff. If you have any questions about this purse, let me know in the comments below. Buffy. Buffy. <laughs> so, hi. Hi, guys. Are you having a hard day? Yeah, we're all having a hard day. Guys, thank you, as usual, for watching. Auf Wiedersehen. Ciao. Hasta luego. <laughs>trying to describe what this tastes like and I'm sure you've read like just a billion things about it by now or tried it it's like a little soury really sweet it really reminds me of um, something I would have drank in Japan it's a little bit like cow piss not cow piss cow piss it's a drink that doesn't seem like it should be milky, but it is. I've been wanting it all week, and then I went to my app to order it from the Starbucks app, because yeah, I'm that person, and it was sold out everywhere. It was just two miles down the road, I found it. It's fine, I'll be okay, I'll live, and it wasn't that good anyway, so. Let's move on from the unicorn frappuccino. Oh, one more thing. Subscribe already, come on!